Coach, uh, week three, just take your assessment on what you've seen for, uh, through the first two weeks. Uh, well, we're working hard. This is time when everybody's sore. They got to keep pushing. They got to keep going. Um, and so uh, uh, we, we accomplished a lot today. Um, and uh, we need to, you know, we had our scrimmage Saturday. We did a full scrimmage, um, full tackling, getting after it. Great thing is, you know, we're, we're in so much better shape and so much more physical. Nobody got hurt. You know, sometimes there's freakish accidents. Okay? But now that we're stronger, more physical, you're able to endure some of that stuff a lot better. So I, I was pleased with the, with the scrimmage and the effort and the tenacity and the toughness and the physicalness of it. And today we came out here and we worked uh, red zone and, and we also um, worked a, a big blitz period and everything. So um, we're, you know, just making, you know, we have a whole schedule we keep following, just got to keep checking off the list, but the guys are, are responding. Definitely seems like the defense has kind of taken over a couple of these practices. What have you seen from them? Yeah, I thought the offense pretty much kicked their butt today in a lot of spots. Um, and uh, um, which was, it's, you, you want to see both of them kind of have days. You don't want to see one side dominate the other the whole time. Um, and everybody said, well, that's, that's what you, you do, because you want to, you want both, both of them have to play well, both of them do good. And so it's good to see that. Um, and the defense has been aggressive and, and done some good things. Um, but I've been pleased with a lot of the different stuff that the offense is doing. Yeah, with the offense uh, and the red zone, just what you see from them, it definitely seems like DJ is a big part of that game plan. Oh, yeah. We've, uh, we've got quite a few guys that can uh, catch it in, in, the, in the red zone and go get it. You know, um, Dean's a big guy, and, and uh, got Rocky and Josiah, and, and uh, so it's good. we got good, tough runners. So, we, you know, if we can utilize all our weapons down there, it be good. Born Dempsey, another guy who seems to have a big day today. Just what you see. Yeah. How much does the speed help? He's a pretty small guy, but he really. Yeah. Is. No, he, he's extremely fast. If you're little, you better be super fast, yeah. right? <laughs> and he, he is super fast and uh, has a um, ability to run after the catch. And he's you know he's he's built like a little tank, so it's not like he's a a little slight guy. He's just short, but he's big everywhere else and powerful and. Um, he's doing some good things when he, after he catches the ball, for sure. With well, the quarterback room, it seems like Chayden has been taking a lot of the second team reps. What have you liked out of him? Uh, Chayden's done some good things. Um, I, I thought that uh, Amari's done well and, and Hayden and um, all those guys are all kind of rotating in there. And, and they've all kind of had a good day and a bad day. Um, so they just got to keep pushing. And then at the freshman, uh, Clayton, just what have you liked from him? It seems like he's yeah. really getting comfortable. Yeah, Clayton, um, Clayton's what I call a quick, a quick twitch thinker. And I learned that from David Cutcliffe. And he can see stuff and relate it from the meeting room to the practice field. He sees it real well. Now it's just the process of, you know, getting the ball there, speeding up the throw, that type of thing. But uh, mind-wise, he's got it, and he's very athletic. And um, his future's going to be bright. He's just got to keep working. When you get a day like today in full pads, you don't get that many of them. Yep. How does it change what you're looking for on the field? Well, you know, when you have full pads, you've got to do a lot of physical type things. We only get eight of them before the first game um, and the, for the, for, during the camp week. And so that's um, important for us to be physical. So a lot of the things we're doing, we did red zone and we'll do goal line type things in all those situations and short yardage um, to be able to make sure we're physical in those areas. A couple philosophical ones for you. In baseball, they always say hitters have the advantage in spring training. They always have the advantage early. In your experience in these training camps, does offense or defense usually have an edge kind of built in? Uh, usually defense has a little bit more of an edge at first. Um, and then the offense kind of gets their timing down and they get the rhythm down and uh, the quarterback gets comfortable with everything. Um, and uh, so that's, that's usually the way it goes. There's a popular podcast called Pardon My Take. They asked a lot of their guests to define grit. That's obviously a word we use around here a lot. Yes. So I'll ask you, Coach Mack, how do you define grit? That's a great question. Um, grit first is mental toughness, um, and then it turns into physical toughness. If you don't have mental toughness, you're not going to be physically tough. Um, and then, then when that happens, you've got to accomplish on the play, accomplish in whatever you're doing. you got to find a way to get it done. And that means if I get my butt kicked, i got to come back the next one and find a way to kick the guy's butt. So that is the meaning of grit. It's an internal skill, depth within your soul and within your mind um, that you're not going to ever give in. You're going to find a way sooner or later. Um, and so much of that is mental. And then uh, the physical part of it, it, it would be next. Speaking of mental, a lot of the newcomers, Eddie, Travion, Nana, they fit right in. You have to be really pleased with how those guys have adapted right away. Yes, they've adapted really well. They're they're really good athletes. Uh, they're they're good players. They've our coaches have done a good job teaching them the system quickly, and um, excited about watching those guys play for sure. 
feels like the 31st is right around the corner. What do you want to see in these remainder of the practices before we head to Bloomington? Well, we need to look at every day like it's game week. Yeah. And, and, and that's, since, that's since day one, and they've been doing that. But you keep, as you've put everything in and now you're going back over it, you're kind of looking at what your team does best, what a few of the guys might do best. And so you're starting to see that develop um, as camp goes along, and that will help us define more of what we'll lean on um, as the season goes along. All right. Thanks. Nana, first two-plus weeks of practice, how's it felt for you? Uh, it's been great, you know. Coach Joseph's been implementing a lot of plays for us. You know, we've been getting a good, good chemistry, so can't wait to go play on August 31st. Of the returning receivers, who's kind of helped you the most so far in your camp? Man, uh, Eric and Dean have been some great, like, big brothers to me, you know, like, like I said, like when I first got here, Dean, you know, helped me catching on the jugs, you know, we'll go learn the plays, you know. Eric teaching me different things, you know, in the routes, you know, blocking, everything like that. So, you know, Dean and Eric have been tremendous help to me, like, coming here from session. It might be too early for me to ask you this, but how much did those extra practices with Kiwan, those throwing sessions in the summer, help right now here in training camp? Um, you know, those are tremendous help, you know, because, you know, chemistry you know it starts with repetition so you know going out there you know doing the same routes over and over and over he's knowing where I'm going to be at me knowing where he needs me to be at you know that helps because when we come out here and do it against the defense it's just like we've been doing it the whole summer how different has your experience been here at FIU versus Stetson it's been great you know man the coaches are great you know we have like different resources you know so it's been a great change for me you know I'm grateful for the opportunity I'm thankful to God for it so I've just been very thankful for it all right. Appreciate Thank you, Nana. Thank you. First couple weeks of practice, how's it felt for you? Oh, uh, they felt good, you know. We had to adjust a little bit, you know, got a little heat, you know. But practice is going good, getting better each and every day. As a unit, as a team, we're all getting better, keep working. We're learning the plays quick, but overall we're doing good. For you, how different is it being a returner versus last year at this time where you were new to this team? Uh, last year at this time, I feel like it was more like – I wouldn't say it's any different because I, I had a, a good coach, you know, he taught me to play quick, paid attention, took a lot of notes, and um, I had a good unit, so they all had uh, helped around and helped me with the plays, so I feel like it's not big of a difference, you know, Coach Max pushing us all harder, we're all working harder, we got great competition on both sides of the ball, so it's so good. After just about every play at training camp, you can hear you talking to your linemen, talking to your teammates. How important is that for you to be a vocal leader? Oh, it's very important, you know. As I get older, and you know, I want to be a leader to most people. So, like, if I were to leave, like, they can have that leader role model in me. So, you know, it's important because some people get down in practice and let things affect them. But you just got to move on to the next play, you know what I'm saying? How often do you talk about O-line play with your dad? Uh... About all the time. Usually after <laughs> practice, I go straight to him, and you know he's the old line coach himself at South Broward, so I go over there and ask him, a little father son bonding a little bit. So it's good to keep in touch with pops. He played a little baseball too. Did he ever try and push you that way, or it was always? Hey, yeah, yeah. Ball. I played baseball. Yeah. You know, I never, I never practiced it, but I would always go straight from football, and I go to baseball practice and football training. But yeah, I, I wasn't going to baseball. Fair enough. I'm good. You got a couple years on him, so we understand that. But who's the better O lineman, you or Sean? Me or Sean? Sean's a tight end. And I'm not going to say who's better. We're both equally good. We both work hard. So. How hard are you trying to get him here? How hard did I try to get him here? Yeah. It was hard. <laughs> he's young. Yeah. He sees LSU and all of them. No doubt. You know, it's hard to get him to go to schools, but he's good. He's going to make the right decision. Good foundation here. Care for your academics, you know. Yeah. Overall, good team. He committed here, though, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. He's committed here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, sir. Perfect. Appreciate Thank you. you.